action. All right, today I'm gonna to show you the correct way to install the thermostats in your ABA flathead. Uh, I've had a lot of customers over time didn't really know the correct procedure to do it and they end up cracking the housings and they'll bust the little layer off. So we got one we got to do today. So we're just gonna show you the way we do it and also the modification we do to the thermostat that'll uh, help your flathead uh, start running cooler. So the first thing obviously we got to do is get the uh, water neck off. This will be a half inch socket. Give it a hit with the rubber mallet. And look at that. That's a factory thermostat. That's an original thermostat. It's never been changed. But that's what the original ones used to look like. All right, so now we got this off the car. Go ahead and get the hose and the thermostat off it. And pull that out. And then the original thermostat, which you never see those hardly ever. We'll wire wheel that in just a minute. What we're going to do with this thermostat, this 160, is we're going to drill two little tiny bypass holes in it. Uh, it's something we always recommend to do, something we've always done in our own cars. It's proved itself on super hot summer days, uh, especially with the 160, which I always recommend 160 in a flathead. Uh, because of course all the exhaust routes back through the block it only comes out three exhaust holes You need as much help as you can get But you cannot run your flathead with no thermostats because you've got two water pumps It makes the water flow way too fast through the radiator doesn't get enough time to get itself cooled down. So What works good is a 160 with two bypass holes. It works fantastic. So what we're gonna do Is we're gonna get these things scribed so we can get them drilled One at 12, one at six. Now I'm gonna hold it and I'll just have Michael drill it for me. Alright, so we got our first two little pilot holes drilled in it. Now we're going to step up our bit and drill them just a little bit larger. not rocket science but there we are there's our two little bypass holes we're going to install them at 12 and 6 in the thermostat housing so the next thing we're going to do real quick is get the uh, thermostat housing cleaned off and I'll show you how we set them in there so that you don't crack your thermostat housing when you put all this together all right this one there's not much gasket left but of course on this car this old, this old car only had 33,000 miles on it, so all it ever do is sit. So I don't have to scrape much. I'm just going to wire wheel the, the housing off. All 
so nice and clean so now the next step we're going to do is go ahead and get the thermostat in it and get the gasket set on it all right so what i always do i just set these things up in the vise just so it can rest in there this is the top going up like i said 12 and 6. i just set them in there just like so and if you got a little piece of you know junk off the thermostat flick it off there go ahead and set it in just like that and what we're going to do is we're going to let this thermostat set in here and we're going to put the gasket on but we're going to let it all seal up now on one side because what happens is guys will take and they'll put their, their you know silicone on slap the gasket on slap it on the other side then they take it over to the car and when they're trying to put it together while everything's all wet and nasty the thermostat slips they tighten the two bolts cracks the housing then they're you know ordering thermostat housings next day air cars down for a couple days and you don't have to do all that just a little bit of patience so what we're going to do we'll just put a little bit of our silicone on it just right around there and i'll spread it thinner We're just going to let this set up and walk away. And we're trying to do this on a work day, and I can hear the phone ringing, but this has been discussed so much. When we finally had a chance to do it. We're just going to show you how we do it. this way the thermostat gets sandwiched underneath the gasket we're just gonna let that sit there and dry it's captured under there it's in that groove on the thermostat housing so we'll just walk away and we'll come back and we'll get it installed on the car all right so we've given this some time to dry so now we don't have to worry about the thermostat dropping out and cracking the housing so now we'll go ahead and put our sealer on this and go ahead and get it put on. And that will be the key to not crack in the thermostat housing when you put it on. And now everybody will know the trick for the two bypass holes in your thermostat. And you'll be happy with the results if you do this. And then just torque it down don't get too crazy about it it doesn't have to be overly tight i've had some guys break them just just tightening them and that's it let it dry some more put it back together with your hoses and fill it up and you're done 